Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. A question that you might ask is, how do I add a sidebar to my Astra-themed WordPress site? Not only are we going to show you how to enable the sidebar on your whole site, but also how to configure it on individual pages and the blog archive and posts. So let's get started. Let's say we have our site here and we have our users or readers visiting our blog archive or a page and we can scroll down here and we have some example uh, articles posts left over from other themes and ones that we've created ourselves and we want to make it easier for our users to stay on our site and find content so if we had a sidebar here we could have a widget that displays categories tags and uh, sort sorts the archive by date and so on. So let's figure out how to add a sidebar to our site. So let's head over here and let's go to our dashboard. Alternatively, we can just click on customize here, but to find it on here, hover over Astra here on the left hand side, click on customize. Okay, so we're on here on the WordPress customizer. Here on the left hand side, click on sidebar, and these are the global sidebar settings. By default, it's set to no sidebar, at least on this theme. If I click on left sidebar, we get a sidebar on the left hand side. Now you can guess what happens if I click on right sidebar. Now depending on your theme, you'll see a difference between unboxed and boxed. I believe on this theme, it makes no difference, but the background should change if I set it to box. But nothing changed here because of this theme. Now for sidebar width, right here it's 20%. That's 20% of the screen. I can set it as low as 15% and as high as 50% of the screen. So that's half the screen area. I'll leave it at 20% because that seems like a good compromise. And we can enable sticky sidebar here. So watch what, watch what happens. If I scroll down, the sidebar follows us. So I'll leave that disabled right now. And okay, so we have a sidebar on here. Problem solved, right? Sure. But we already have the static page. And if we were to open this on our live site, it wouldn't look so clean, would it? Let's say we had we had all of these pre-formatted blocks of text and content, and then this would be in the way. Doesn't look nice, does it? Well, we could change the design, we can change the background color, maybe Maybe that'll work for you. Alternatively, we can disable it. No sidebar. And since we only really need the sidebar for most cases on our articles, our blog posts, let's head over there. And here on the left side, let's click on blog and blog slash archive. That's what this is, where, where all of our content is kept, the archive. And we have a bunch of settings here. But first, let's, let's take a look at these, top down. By default, it's normal. So this this the width of the container. And if I clicked on narrow, you'll see that the content becomes narrow, okay? And this might be a good look for your site. But let's take a look at how it affects our sidebar. So by default, a while ago, on the global one, you see this uh, globe shape, we set it to no sidebar. So if we set it to sidebar on the right, we'd have a sidebar on the right by default. So we can click on no sidebar, nothing will change, of course. Click left, left sidebar, let's click on right sidebar here. And we should get a sidebar on the right. And as with a while ago, we don't see any changes here. But watch, we have right sidebar selected, but it isn't appearing. That's all to do with the container layout. So if we went back to normal, you'll see here that the sidebar returns. And I believe if we use full width as well for the archive, the blog and archive layout, it also works. Let's go back to normal just to keep things a bit more compressed. 
and we should be fine with that, okay? If you found this video helpful so far, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Now, we can change the design of the whole page here, the whole archive, but that changes only here. So, how do we change how the sidebar looks? Let's go back to our sidebar settings and click on design. And you saw a while ago, we can change the background color. We can change the content titles, the colors of the text, and the links. Uh, let's, let's use this light blue. And when we hover over it, it turns red. Okay. We can, oh, this is a bit too dark. We can keep it like this for the meantime, just so it's easier for you to see that we've made changes. And then we can change fonts and font sizes here. You can see it should it should reflect. And padding and spacing, just in case your theme is a bit too narrow or too wide, conversely. And we can also enable this on single blog posts. So let's 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 open this right now. And we can also enable the sidebar on the right. So Right now, it's set to default, so there's none. This is our article here, our blog post, and there's no sidebar. And we can click on Enable Sidebar. And we should get a sidebar here, okay? Now, if we went back to a single page, let's say this one is configured as our About Us page. This one, it says who we are, and you can see it doesn't have a sidebar. If we wanted to add a sidebar to that, we could. We can click on Page and Single Page and normal, let's make sure, and you can cl click on right sidebar, but you'll see the problem real quick. Okay, so it works, right? But if we went back to our home page, since that in itself is a single page, it's considered a single page, the sidebar returns. So let's just keep it disabled by default. Since we, we don't really need the sidebar on single pages, and it's mainly for navigating our blog archive and blog posts. So let's go ahead and configure our sidebar real quick. So you can just click on this pencil icon, and it takes us to the widget customizer. This whole sidebar is one big widget. So let's say we wanted to change the name of our search bar. Okay, and it should reflect right there. We could delete blocks. And you can see here that the recent comments went away. And just like with the block editor, we can move these up and down. We can use the arrows to put it back up. And we can turn them into drop down lists to make it more com compact. And we can do the same for these. And we can change the display, like how many articles to display. Oh, there you go. And we should have five. One, two, three, four, five. And so on and so forth. We can also add images, countdowns, anything from the block editor. Let's insert this real quick here. Let's make it a bit smaller. And it should appear there. So if you want a logo or something, you could add it there if you wanted to add uh, a button. You could do that as well. Let's move it up top here so it's easier. Oops. Let's. Okay. Let's move it up top here underneath the search engine. And you can say. And then we can configure whatever the link says put our YouTube channel there. And if we click on Browse All, you'll see we have every single block that we have installed. So if you wanted a particular one, you just install it via a plugin. So once we're happy with that, let's click on Publish. And let's head over to our website. Let's go over back to the home page and make sure that the sidebar isn't enabled here. On other pages, like our About Us page, it isn't enabled, but on our blog, 
archive, it should be enabled and we can see our custom sidebar over here. And if we clicked on a single post, we can see. And if we went back and checked out a different post, the sidebar should be here. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.